Martin Newman here, consumer champion, standing at Cold Drops Yard. What a fantastic retail environment this is. In my mind, this is really representative of what the future of retail and the future of living is likely to be. We're going to see a lot more of this around our local towns and centres around the UK over the next five to ten years. What's so great about this place is there's a fantastic mix of independent retail brands like Wolf & Badger, Cubits, Tom Dixon. You know, it's just a great retail shopping experience. It's mixed with also great leisure, food and beverage, nice mix of charity shops. And of course, you can see behind me as well, some fantastic accommodations for some fantastic apartments. So it's a great place to live. It's a great place to shop. It's a great place to work. It's also why the likes of Google and Facebook have been opening up their offices now around this area as well. So the redevelopment of King's Cross has been amazing. And this is very much Cold Rock's Yard is very much at the heart of it. And what's going to happen over the next five to 10 years is more and more people are going to be living in and around our town centres. So whereby previously we've all moved out to the suburbs, we're going to be moving back in. And, and increasingly, as we have more and more people living on their own, massive increase in single dwellings. People don't really want to be living in the suburbs. They want to be where the action is. And so we're going to see more environments like this in the future. If you haven't been here before, make sure to get yourself down to Cold Drop Shards. Martin Newman, consumer champion at Cold Drops Yard, going into one of the best independent retailers in the UK, and actually they have a few stores around the world now, Wolf and Badger. Come on inside and let's see what's so great about this place. So Wolf and Badger curate some amazing brands that aren't readily accessible in most other high street destinations, and of course they do the same online. I really love the physical experience of coming into a Wolf and Badger store. It's got a really nice feel to it. So they've got pick market, they've got food and drink, uh, and a sort of delicatessen. And then they've just got a really great mix of fashion, uh, apparel, footwear, accessories for men, for women, jewellery, greeting cards, and just a great overall feel and brand experience. I'm sure you'll agree as you look around the store but it's got a really nice feel to it. Uh, and for me, this is one of the benefits and advantages that independent retailers have. It can feel just that little bit more personal and more local, uh, and more relevant to the needs of consumers in the local market. So come on around, that's how it's going to store. Well. Lots of unique individual designs and some fantastic brands that you want to have Beautifully displayed, great visual merchandising, products really nicely merchandised. Yeah, Wolf and Badger. Great destination. If you haven't been over here already, get yourself down to Cold Drops Yard. Martin Newman, consumer champion again here at Cold Drops Yard. Great independent brand, Bloma Beauty. What I love about this is if you look in the window here, there's a whole list of what's on. Come in and get free mini facials, how to gua sha, follow me facials, free hand massages. So there's a whole bunch of free opportunities for consumers to come in and experience the products. Uh, in, in doing so, have a great customer experience. And of course, the chances are they'll then go in and buy something. This is what experiential retail really is all about. Hi there, Martin Newman, consumer champion at Cold Drops Yard outside the Shelter Charity Shop. Let me tell you, this is not a charity shop as you would imagine it to be. So let's come and have a look inside. Immediately, look at the visual merchandising, look at how the product is merchandised, and look at all the point of sale and all the marketing collateral around the store telling the story of Shelter as a charity. It's just brilliant. I mean, this could be a high-end fashion or luxury boutique. It's just got such a nice feel about it, and I think it's a great it's a great example of what a charity shop actually could look and feel like. So, the look and feel, it's very much like a high-end store. You're walking around, look at the product is merchandised. I think it's just fantastic. It doesn't feel at all 
like a charity shop normally feels like. It feels like a high-end fashion boutique. Love the products, love the merchandising, and it feels experiential. And this is what retail should be all about, whether you're in a charity sector or whether you're in any other sector of retail for that matter.